We are rejoined by our heavy hitters panel, John, Derek, and Mike. Only referred to by first name basis when we are done with the initial introductions. <laughs> yeah, I love it, love it. Uh, the U.S. Senate has been delivered the articles of impeachment against President Donald Trump. Yesterday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced the managers who will act as prosecutors. Today, the Senate will receive the managers and they will present and exhibit the articles of impeachment on the Senate floor. A Senate trial set to begin next Tuesday. Also interesting, I was surprised by this. Lamar Alexander said he would not vote against the hearing because he thinks we have a constitutional duty to hear them, the articles of impeachment. What do you think about all of this, the whole thing? The, the whole thing, um, honestly, I think it's all posturing and is setting up for the 2020 election. I mean, that's what this, in my opinion, was all, what it's all about. I don't think any of this is going to lead to him getting ousted, but maybe something that comes out will help those to have some, you know, some, some, uh, some armor to go and fight what he's bringing to the table. On the flip side, maybe this will bring something <coughs> for those that support him that will say, hey, we have a, a fighting shot here to stay in office for another four years. So I don't think this has anything to do with him getting out. I think it's all about, you know, the election in 2020. My Interesting. Opinion. Well, I'm mm -hmm. sure you're going to agree, John. Uh, well, I agree. Let me, there are two signings yesterday. Nancy Pelosi signing articles of impeachment and giving commemorative pens as if she had accomplished major piece of legislation. And at about the same time, Donald Trump, president, is oversigning a, a, a historic trade deal with China. Now, which is more important for this, com this country? A political event, which is, as Mike says, it's nothing but politics. They think that, and Nancy Pelosi says, Donald Trump is impeached for life. It's like a scarlet letter has been put on his head, but it was just a political, just a political operation. It's, this will help the president get elected with more votes than ever before. Yeah. Nancy Pelosi will lose the House. The Senate will all go and stay Republican, uh, and this country will be great again. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> See your face. Uh, I wish we had a double camera oh. to see his face during your talk. Thank you for praying for me. <laughs> pray for me. Uh, Derek, what do you think? I'm going to pray for both of them. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> please, please. <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, what did you think of Lamar Alexander's response, John? Oh, he didn't say he wasn't going to do anything. He said he's going to be measured and not preempt what he may or may not do. That's politics, too, though. He under... he. They're playing the whole notion of they have something that's going to help them. So yeah. I, I just this is all posturing, man. Yeah, it's, it's strictly a political next. game, and it'll have yeah. it'll be over fairly quickly. I yeah, think. we got local and state state elections this year too. So well, the, the beauty yeah. of it is, <laughs> the the beauty of it is so there's that, that. At yeah. least, at least <laughs> the three Democrat senators who are running for president are stuck in Washington for the next couple of oh, weeks. Boy. They can't go campaign. They're six days a week. They're sitting there in that trial. Well, and Nancy Pelosi is saying that the. The, con the conflict there, the ones who, that are running for president should recuse themselves from the impeachment hearing as well. Do you agree with that? Nancy Pelosi said that? Yeah. I'd be surprised. She said that that, is, that would be unfair. She did she, say that. Mm. Mm. She's just trying to help <laughs> Joe Biden is what she's trying to do. Mm. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's good to see you. <laughs> We're going to wrap this up. Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here. We will be right back after this at 7.55 now on your Thursday.